Hello, and thank you for watching the Square Penguin. Today I will show you how to install Apache on CentOS 8. First, we proceed to, to power on a virtual machine. We type our password of password123. And then we proceed to check our network connectivity using the terminal. Let's ask you to root the password one, two, three. Let's make sure we could ping our sign. We use the DNF install. HTTPD, they should download the, the main packages along with any dependencies associated with the Apache web server. Now that we have the list of packages, we can review them along with their versioning and the repositories that are associated with it. These are the default CentOS 8 repositories. We haven't added any new repositories for this purpose. We'll type Y for yes and hit enter. This will start installing all the packages along with the dependencies. We get a, a brief fingerprint warning to either accept or decline the keys. We'll accept it because we trust the CentOS keys. Type yes, hit enter. This, this will proceed with the installation of the web server. And now that we have installed the Apache web server, now we need to enable it and start it. We use the systemctl enable to enable the service. And we use the system CTL star HTTPD to start the service. Now keep in mind that the built-in CentOS A by default comes with firewall D enable, preventing any connection for the HTTP daemon uh, internally and to the outside. For that purpose, we need to add HTTP as our Apache web server to our public zone. We will try to do this in a permanent manner using the firewall CMD command as follow. Firewall D, actually firewall CMD zone equal public permanent add service equal HTTP. This will add a permanent rule to our zone. Now we just need to reload the firewall with this new added rule using firewall reload CMD dash dash reload. And now we're going to do a brief test of our configuration. Let's echo a Apache on CentOS A and we're gonna do a redirect of that to our content file which is under var www html index the HTML. After that, we could test either by host name or by IP address. In this case, this machine doesn't have a predefined host name yet. So we will use the, the provided IP address. In our case, the IP address is 192.168.61.128.
We'll do a quick, quick ping to that. And it's pinging. So now we will just open it. And then we can see that this is the outcome that we type on the terminal. Well, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Thank you.